数码革命催生了各类智能手机、平板电脑和计算机，同时也产生了堆积成山的电子垃圾。中国是最大的电子产品生产国，也产生最多的电子垃圾。现在，它正在寻求解决方法。在充斥着电脑、平板和智能手机的世界，电子垃圾正逐渐成为全球性难题。中国首当其冲，因为它是世界领先的电动和电子设备生产国。广东已经发生了翻天覆地的变化，之前它长期处于贫困之中，近年来它摇身一变成了电子垃圾回收的重镇，催生了总价值达数百万美元的商业活动。广东省汕头市桂屿镇被称为是全球电子垃圾的处理厂，这里百分之八十的人口靠拆解废旧电子设备，尤其是手机和电脑谋生。You know, we should really be mindful. Nowadays, people get rid of their old phones all the time. 郭一广是中国最大搜索引擎公司百度的国际媒体公关总监。Sometimes they end up in.、Uh, Cities in coastal China, where they are dismantled in very, very unhealthy and unsafe ways, that expose not only the people doing the disassembly to toxins, to to dangerous chemicals, but also pollute the air、uh, and the groundwater. 每个月都有六千万人使用百度。借助这一资源，该公司与联合国开发计划署合作，寻找新途径，帮助减少电子垃圾的不当处理。We type in the at sign. Then it gives me a choice of different electronic products that I might want to recycle.、Uh, let's say I decide to recycle this refrigerator here, this old refrigerator.、Uh, all I need to do is pick the the size of the refrigerator, the date that I'd like it to be picked up, and then to take a photo of it. And now I select simply the place where I am and one of the companies that will come、uh, and and pick it up. 和美国一道，中国产生了世界三分之一的电子垃圾。中国环保部正鼓励各生产企业遵循有效的回收过程。即便如此，中国还是会在二零一七年成为世界最大的电子垃圾生产国。因此，寻求解决之道知其迫，甚于以往。